Say that again. Okay. The, the, I said, uh, the problems with this economy were created by George Bush and the Republicans. And if you choose to not elect me, you're returning to the policy of George Bush and the Republicans because I'm not as bad as George Bush and the Republicans would be if you re-elected them. <laughs> That's what he said this morning. They've told him to shut his mouth and not speak anymore. Hello, this is not a spring chicken. I'm sitting here listening to what's going on in politics and maybe I should say, okay, the president, President Obama says, what was that? If you re-elect, okay, he's blaming everything on George Bush and the Republicans, right? For the economy. And if you re-elect him, what, it's going to change? Otherwise, you're going to get George Bush and the Republicans back? Yeah, he said, Wait a uh, minute. if you don't elect me, you're, you're, you're re-electing George Bush and the Republicans to do what they, and they will simply do what they did before, even though uh, I inherited a bad mess and there's nothing I could do because the, George Bush and the Republicans. See, part of it is I'm thinking there's a lot of people that would actually like to go back to what happened before, nor did he forget that he's actually the current president. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Boy, let, let's I'm do I'm not as bad, <laughs> no matter how bad I am, I'm not as bad as it would be re-electing George Bush. The, I mean, that sounds like, what are they, like rebooting the Spider-Man franchise, which just opened last night at midnight, but it sounds like Obama's rebooting his campaign against George Bush and the Republicans. Oh, wait a minute, I'm still scratching my head on that one. But meanwhile, we're going to bring old Cam on for comments on the headlines of today as we head into the 4th of July. I know. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, actually, Isn't that like the same news you keep hearing? It's the same news every day, but this time you have an a-hole running for the President of the United States the Republican Party side that is standing against all of the advertisements that the party and all the people in the party are putting out. It's a penalty. It's not a tax. Mm -hmm. And no, it's a tax. It's not a penalty. The Supreme Court ruled it's a tax. Not No, it's a tax. It's, not, it's a penalty, not a tax. This moron is sending his people out telling people it's a penalty, not a tax. Because, I mean, they, you know, one of the Pierce's said, Did, can, can we put somebody... They're basically trying to get Romney to, to bow out and let somebody take his place. But the problem comes is that it would have to be someone like, a, okay, Christie now is interested in the presidency. So you know that if Christie is interested in vice president on upward, that they're talking to him about taking Romney's place on the ticket. Because Romney totally, he won't admit that the health care he did in Massachusetts was wrong, and now he's refusing to, uh, to you know, he basically, he's, he's stuck on penalty, not taxing it. Just destroying the party. And they, they said as of today, the president couldn't get elected dog catcher. Mm -hmm. He got he not only did not get a bump from the Supreme Court ruling, his rate he went down again, and people hate Obamacare, so he's not running on that. And he can't run on the economy because contrary to what the Fox Business said today, you are paying more for your hot dogs this year than you did last. Ooh, and Mayor's on swimmer fails to complete the Cuba US journey. Well, I don't know why anybody would want to do that to begin with. I mean, if you come ashore, they arrest you, folks. Oh, really? It's a crime to enter that country without a passport and permission. I got a, a visitor's visa, and basically swimming is a visa quality. Oh, and hyped plan to end Syria crisis falls flat. Well, yeah, because the United States is demanding that Assad leave office and that he be tried for his crimes. Well, the Russians and the Iranians and, and the... Um, and the Chinese said, well, F you on that one, President Obama. Mm -hmm. So basically, it had no chance of going anywhere, but they did it in order to raise the stock market artificially on Monday. And health care decision marks the beginning of the Roberts era. I know the Democratic press is going crazy. We have, a, we have a judge that basically pays attention to the Constitution, unlike the Republicans who basically three of them are constitutional scholars, and Kennedy is not a Republican, he's an independent. And Kennedy gave that, uh, that the opposition thing on it, but, um, okay, basically what Roberts did, if you anybody has enough brains to actually read it, he said it was a tax. As a tax, you basically put the thing in the hands of the people where it should be, and that since no one has paid the tax yet, you can't challenge it in the court system, which means 
it comes right back to the Supreme Court, and they know what he was going to vote the last time. Well, and then what happens if you call it a mandate? If you call it a mandate, it's unconstitutional, which is what Mitt Romney keeps. Well, it's a mandate. It's unconstitutional. It's not a tax. And basically, Barack Obama's going, <laughs> he's on our side, folks. Mm -hmm. And war severed the Minnesota flood causes $80 million in damage. It's a farce, folks. I mean, I, I've been through more, I've been through worse fires, worse earthquakes, and worse floods. Well, 80 million is a joke when it comes to damage in a storm. And Trayvon Martin shooter statements to police made public. Yeah, well, that's also basically they can't do any of the above they're doing. So therefore, um, they're, they're making certain that this case cannot be tried. First of all, they're keeping him in a jail cell. They're denying him bond. And by denying him bond, they're violating his constitutional rights. It says right there in the Bill of Rights, they, you know, they can't do that. But the judge basically says, well, these people didn't tell us that they had this extra money. Well, the money is for the trial. It is not the same as money that they have. The guy is like a, a, just a low-paid worker, as is his wife. They don't have hundreds of thousands of dollars in real money. That's, that's donations for his defense. And factory jobs data highlights struggling recovery. That's right, because nobody's being hired. They figure that, the, okay, Obama administration has revised the May Okay, uh, the May figure has now been revised upwards of more people unemployed. Uh, every month since Obama has been president, they have revised the figures upwards, even though, well, it actually went down from 4.7 to 4, I mean, it went down from 8.7 to 8.2. Well, yeah, but they revised it all upwards. Every month mm -hmm. they go up. Never, never go down, only up. And no fast recovery seen as M&A activity drops 25%. Well, don't worry, Fox News, this Fox Business this morning will tell you that people are unexpectedly shopping more. It's because that everything costs so much less uh, in going into this election than it did last year. Uh, no, gas is higher, milk is higher, bread is higher, hot dogs are got all higher, beer is higher. Go buy a watermelon sandwich, that's going to cost you folks. And Tahrir Square protests as Egypt awaits result. Well, yeah, well, but, but, but basically, uh, they're, they're going to tear the country apart because the, major, the majority of the people do, okay, the Muslim Brotherhood, by law in, in, in the Middle East, is not allowed to hold office. So they threw out the parliament, the court did, because they elected a parliament of them. Now they got a president who already is wanting Obama to turn over all these people that are in jail for killing Americans to them so they can be freed. Mm. And WikiLeaks Assange says, ready for life in Ecuador. Well, he's not going to be sent to Ecuador. He's going to, they're basically, he's in a hotel room which passes for the Ecuadorian embassy in England. And he can never go, if uh, he's got an arrest warrant on him for, uh, for uh, the one thing you don't do is you don't walk off on your, uh, in England on a bell thing. He broke his bell by what going into the bell? embassy. Well, they, he was out on bail. Oh, his, oh, a bell, B A I L. B -A -I -L. Yeah, and he media. broke his, he violated the terms of that, and uh, it doesn't make any difference. Like in the United States, he can't get from here to there because as soon as he steps out the door, it, it, diplomatic immunity means nothing to people, bail, to people doing bail bonds work because they'll go into another country and haul somebody out. Oh, they will. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Syrian fighter pilot defects to Jordan and gets asylum. Oh, I know. It's just, it's just ridiculous. What they do is they pick up, they pay somebody to bring over an air, you know, to come over to another country and make it look like they're defecting. No, they're just, they, you can buy almost anybody in the military to do that. Oh, and heat hampers efforts to fight Colorado fires. You know, folks, BS is going to explain something. This happens to be the start of summer. It is warm. <laughs> You know, they said that the heat is really getting to people. Well, it's it's also the 4th of July. I don't remember a whole lot of snow. Actually, I was I was born, I mean, it snowed in July when I was born. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. And Mammoth Lake's famous California ski town files for bankruptcy. Yeah, city after city in the state of California are going bankrupt and all for the same reason. George Bush and the Republicans spent all the money. Um, uh, they're George Bush and Republicans, Republicans don't have control of anything in California and haven't forgot off on those well. A long time. The Democrats run everything, but that is the 
Well, Stockton went broke because of Republican spending of taxpayers' money. Well, no, the Democrats were in control of Stockton. And North Korea's new image, platform shoes, earrings, and cell phones. And Pete said the problem is they don't have any money in North Korea, so it's just all being trotted out for cameras, folks. And Paul, most want Obamacare opponents to move on. No, I, I, read, I checked it down the line. Most does not mean a majority. It just says, uh, the, the, it, it follows Obama. We won, we make the rules, get over it, speak statement. And, uh, <laughs>